brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So my wife and I just bought a house, um, and I'm uh, I'm feeling a little buyer's remorse, and I just wanted to get y'all's take on our financial situation to see if there's some validity in what I'm feeling, or if it's just you know I'm just in my head on it. Um, I'll give you a just a rough kind of breakdown of our financial. Well, before you do that, just t- tell me what the house payment is. Thirty-seven hundred. Okay, and what's your take home pay in the house? Uh, one hundred and eighty a year, roughly ninety-five hundred to ten thousand per month. Uh, no, it's not. Something's wrong. I'm talking about take home after taxes. One hundred and eighty yeah, is not ten thousand. Ten thousand is one hundred and twenty. You don't have sixty thousand dollars worth of taxes on one hundred and eighty. You don't. Um, well, no. Okay, so are you taking out four hundred and one k and all that? No, I'm not. Taxes only. Oh, oh, taxes only. Uh, I don't know the number off. The yeah, top of my so head. it's probably okay. So, how much are you putting into your four hundred one k? Um, currently, I'm ten ten percent, and my wife is ten percent. Okay, all right. So that's eighteen thousand. So um, that makes sense then. All right, because your your take home pay, not counting your four hundred one k, would be more like fourteen, okay, something like that. Okay. And four hundred one k, health insurance, whatever else the crap's coming out of there, because something's coming out of there. But that's what it ought to be, because one hundred eighty is fifteen a month. Okay, that makes okay. sense. So yeah. you'd be at thirteen, and thirty seven hundred is not out of line. Then that's my point. I had to get to real take home pay for I sold your house, and now we don't have to sell your house, so that's good. So. Oh. My wife will enjoy that. Um, <laughs> so you're the saver and she's the spender. You're the nerd and she's the free spirit. Yes, correct. Yeah. And you you feel like you ca- you feel like you caved and bought something you can't afford. Well, we're good on the house. I, the only debt that we have in our names is a car. And my biggest stress right now is, do I just I have eighty five thousand in the bank? The car I have I owe thirty nine on my car. Write a check and, and pay it off today. Okay. I was going to go sell it and buy a beater. I just didn't know if it was smart to just... Well, you can still sell it later and buy a beater if you want to, but for today, let's get rid of the stress. Okay. All right. And you guys are not doing a written monthly budget called Every Dollar on the Every Dollar app where both of you agree on every dollar before the month begins where it's going and what its name is. And if you'll start doing that, you'll feel much more in control. Okay. It'll give you a lot of, it'll give you a lot of peace. It may cause some fights because it may expose well, just, what some people in the house are spending and it's not you. Yeah, yes, you're correct. And we do, we did, we did do the every dollar app and we're able to save around 2,200 a month, but for some reason that just seems low. And I, I got on Reddit, which I shouldn't have done. And everybody was like, Oh, your house poor. And I just started freaking out. Now and, listen, Reddit oh, is not, Reddit is not a source of anything except trouble. No, Reddit is for if you're feeling exceptionally well and you're like, you know what I need in my life? A little depression. Then you should read Reddit. <laughs> Other than that, if good. you get if you get a, a a medical diagnosis, if you go to Reddit, you're dead by morning. <laughs> the only thing that will kill you faster yeah. is 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 WebMD. <laughs> they'll kill you. They'll yeah, kill you within the hour. <laughs> so seriously, you're right. You're, so Daniel, Daniel, what you guys need to do is you need to get above this. And think about your source of information, and we are making fun of Reddit, but it's not a good source, okay? And because the numbers you're giving me, nothing's out of control. I think what I'm hearing is a good guy who's a nerd, who's very responsible, like me. I'm a nerd. Um, and your your wife has not let up on the spending. You all are not in agreement. You've been kind of you know, swinging at this whole money thing instead of actually making it dance, getting it in line and making every dollar dance and both of you being in agreement, paying off the car. And and then I think you're going to have a lot of peace. The numbers you're giving me are not stupid. If they were, you know, I'd tell you. Yes, sir. Aaron, can I ask you a few other peripheral questions? Yes, sir. You got any friends? Oh, yeah. That you go hang out with once a week? Yes. What's the state of your health? What's the state of my health? Yeah. You exercise, you go for walks every day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, work out six days a week. Okay. Um, eat, eat clean. What's yeah. the state of your marriage? Great. 
really good. Really good. I think my biggest, I just want to be a good dad. I want to be a good husband. I want to lead my, my family to, to, to wealth. And I didn't come from that, so I, I just strive for that. Okay, there it is. And when there I, it is. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to screw this up. So you're walking a tightrope. Yeah. I get that. Good man. Good for you. That's a, that's a good motivation as long as it doesn't take it so far you can't sleep at night. That's right. I'm going to send you building yeah, or a non-anxious life. It doesn't take you to Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yes. I'm going to send you building a non-anxious life. I want you and your wife to go through that book together. Yeah. And then you guys jump on every dollar of the app yeah. and get it going too, and make sure make sure you get this stuff dialed in. Because I think you're there. I think if you get a hundred percent alignment with her using the budgeting process called every dollar, that's going to and you're probably eighty five right now. Okay. If you get a hundred percent control and command over the dollars and you're probably 90% on that. Okay. And you pay off the car. Um, then you're going to, and you start doing the Ramsey stuff the rest of the way and quit ishing it. Then, then I think you're going to find an immense flip from the, I, I think that little bit of lack of alignment and, and then this tremendous drive to be a good guy is is where your disconnect is your dissonance yeah and and yeah his body put a gps pin in money worries and so it's just he's got a new big debt and he's got a kid and it's and his body's sounding all the alarms it's it's going back to those ratios and you and i've talked about that offline those are just important things i'm doing it right yep. we're safe i'm doing good i'm doubling up on my payments when i can i'm taking overtime when i can i'm, I'm getting the stuff done and um you slowly practice that yeah but um uh, when you do something that your inner voice, uh, the Holy Spirit's telling you not to do, um, and um, then don't be shocked that you're stressed. Right, exactly. So when you buy a house while you have a $39,000 car debt mm -hmm. and you knew you shouldn't, don't be shocked that it's upsetting. Right. Or one step further, if your parents... We're screaming at each other growing up over their house payment. Even if you put 50% down and you buy a house, expect your body to feel a little tense. That's okay. I know that I have to outsource that because when I get emotional, I get real emotional and I get real, I start making choice decisions fast. And I get a friend or two or I get somebody that I trust to say, okay, I'm about to do something uncharacteristic. I'm about to sell my house we just bought. Is this wise? Yep. And then you can get some exhale in your life. And they'll go, no, I got your six. You're, you're doing good. It's, hel it's helpful. It's what this show is, right? Yeah. When things are in, when you do things that are inconsistent with you, what you believe, the people in John's world call that dissonance. There's a disconnect. Your per, your actions are perpendicular to your belief. 100% time you get stressed. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.